What's happening everyone? Welcome back to another video and today we have the AlphaWise X3200 projector. Now this comes in two different variants. The white one is the basic version and the black one is the Android version. So I'm just going to go ahead and answer the question up front here. Should you get the Android version? If you're planning to hook up an Android system onto it anyways, you might as well get the black Android version. If you're only getting it to play videos, then you can actually play videos directly into the box even if it's not Android. Because it is nice to have YouTube and Netflix directly playing on the device itself and yes, the Android version does have a 5 gigahertz network so it is dual band and according to the page it has Miracast and Chromecast but if you plan to just play videos straight off USB then you can definitely do that right over here so with that out of the way let's go ahead and take a look at this thing and see how well it performs so first of all it's pretty nice that it has actually a pretty nice selection of ports it got the AV you got the component you got an antenna which uh, mostly European people are going to enjoy and maybe some people in the US here in Canada we no longer have off the air network so this won't work here but you do have a TV scanning function so that's pretty cool then you have the VGA if you want to plug in like an old console or an old computer or whatever you want. But then you have two HDMI ports which is actually pretty nice. And then two USB ports we can play videos, pictures, and uh, view a couple things here and there. But you're mainly going to be using it for videos and pictures. Then of course it uses a standard PC plug which is nice to see. And you'll be surprised that this thing is actually pretty responsive. Here we have the Xiaomi mouse that I'll be reviewing very soon. Pretty much wired PC performance on a wireless mouse. We'll take a look at that in a future video. But this thing right here has some very impressive response time in terms of the display. I'll show you the monitor here and I'll show you the projector and you'll see that the response time is very impressive. It actually beats even the Xiaomi projector. So if you plan to play games on this thing, you're good to go. Even PC games, you could probably play some CS with it, which we'll be actually trying out and seeing how well I can do with this setup, with this projector on, and seeing if the delay is going to affect me. So anyways, let's go ahead and turn this thing on and get right into it. Alright, so first off we have the silicon piece right here that protects the lens. It's nice that they have included this. And on top is of course we have the focus dial and the keystone dial. So no automatic focus or keystone adjustment, but that's fine. I'd really prefer some manual stuff for uh, some fine adjustments. So as you can see we have the projector projecting on my wall right here. And I can go ahead and fix the keystone by just simply rotating this dial right here and it'll fix it up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Focus the lens. So before we go ahead and get started, here's what it looks like with the lights on. Now it's not directly on the display itself, but if we go ahead and do that, this is what it would look like. It's going to get washed out. It's to be expected. It's a projector. Here's a close up of the actual pixels of the projector. So you can kind of see what it looks like up close. Now this is about uh, 10 inches or so away from the camera. So not bad at all. So let's go ahead and take a look at the input menu. So here's what it looks like. Very simple and straightforward and you just go ahead and select whatever you want and we're going to actually get started with the USB option. Just a quick look at the built-in menu that you can actually play videos through. Yes, this does come with the basic version so uh, you're good to go. Now for this section you will actually need to use your controller because you won't be able to play anything. So uh, we're going to go ahead and select something here and click play. So here are the options that you have. You have pause, play, forward and whatnot. But if you're wondering, no, we cannot actually fast forward the video by using the timeline. And then we have zoom in, zoom out, which I don't really recommend using. We have also aspect ratio, which is very handy. So anyways, here's a quick sample of what the built-in audio sounds like. Now remember, there's only one speaker that's on the right side of the projector. And uh, yeah, here's what it sounds like. So that's a quick sample of what it sounds like with the built-in speaker and the built-in player. Just a quick heads up, if you try to play 4K, it's going to say unsupported file. And is the built-in player perfect? No, it's going to hiccup here and there every now and then, but it's not that bad. Somewhere close to where it actually glitched, but everything will be pretty smooth for the most part. And yes, all of these were 1080p video clips. And before we go ahead and try out the HDMI, a uh, quick note about the built-in uh, cooling system. So first of all, there's a filter on the other side, but most of the air comes out from the right side. So the intake is the left and the right side is the exhaust. And the exhaust is obviously going to be hot. If you're in a small room, it's going to smell like a heater is turned on. You know, with like a fresh heater, it's going to smell like that. But if you're wondering how hot it is, it's going to be something similar to an old laptop. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see what the HDMI looks like and how responsive it is. Alright, so for each type of input, you actually have your own menu to uh, adjust your picture mode. So 
Here is my settings for the picture mode. Uh, if we go ahead and click that, we can see that there are a couple things. You got user, you got the color temperature, aspect ratio, all that good stuff. But here's what I have personally for my custom settings. So contrast is 40, brightness is 60, color is 100% and sharpness to zero because it actually over sharpens the image and it doesn't make it look all that good. Again, you can play around with these things and try them out. As for the color temperature, here's what I have it at. I have it as medium and noise reduction. I just have it on off. You can change the projector direction. So uh, this will actually flip out the image and then reduce size is if you want to uh, shrink the display to fit whatever screen you have at a certain distance. All right, so I went ahead and changed the background to black so you guys can see the cursor easily. And here's how responsive the display is compared to my laptop's display. So it's actually pretty impressive. On the right bottom side, we have the shiny laptop and on the background, we have the projector. And you guys can see that the responsiveness, it's pretty damn insane. It's actually more responsive on the projector than on the laptop display, which is pretty damn impressive if you ask me. And here's a window for comparison. And we can see that it is pretty damn impressive. Now, usually when you're using a mouse on a TV or a projector, you instantly feel the lag and you just don't want to use a mouse anymore. With controllers, you don't feel it as much, but with mice, you definitely feel it. And right here, I can tell you right now, I don't feel it at all. In fact, I feel like the projector is more responsive than the display, which is saying something right here. So anyways, we're gonna actually go ahead and try CSGO and see how I perform with this projector. But we also do have a stream controller, so I'm gonna go ahead and play Rocket League as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with some Rocket League. Okay, so uh, the game played very nicely, but yeah, let's, uh, let's play some CS and see how it is with a keyboard and mouse for FPS games. All right, so let's go ahead and see how we perform with this crazy setup. I'll show you guys the video of what's going on here after we quickly jump into deathmatch on Dust2. All right, voice enable zero, and let's see if we can go ahead and op and do our usual thing here. All right, let's up uh, and nope. Remember, the goal here is to get at least 10 kills. It might be fine for some people, but you just gotta get used to it. You gotta get real close. And it might help if I'm actually closer to the display itself. All right, so we got our goal of 10. Now, all I have to do is just go ahead and finish up the round and call it a success, I guess? Let's try a rifle this time. All right, so we got 22 eliminations. And overall, I believe I can actually play competitive with this and uh, get a pretty good game going, as long as there are no hackers. Maybe look forward for a future video where I'll play a full game of CSGO on this projector. Who knows, we'll see. All right, so the conclusion. Should you get this projector? What do I think of it? And is it worth the money? So first of all, this is a 720p projector. It's got a claimed luminance of 3200. And overall, it's been pretty good. The colors were pretty nice. If you do my settings, you'll have some very nice colors. First of all, this is a 720p projector. It's got a claimed luminance of 3200, and overall, the picture quality was pretty good. Now, out of the box, it doesn't look very nice, but if you go ahead and use my settings, you'll see the picture quality will improve by probably five times. Better blacks, better whites, and overall, a better, sharper, cleaner image because the sharpness levels on default are way too high and just distorts the image overall. But if you wanna see my settings, I'll leave them in the description below for both the built-in USB function and the HDMI because those I have adjusted to my liking and I've got them to where I think they are the best. So, so anyways, in terms of colors, in terms of image quality, it's not bad. Two and a half meters away from the wall or your screen, you'll get about an 80 inch display. 
And the brightness levels are pretty decent. You're not going to be disappointed and it's not too bright either. For around $200 or under $200, I recommend getting this on sale. Don't get it without a sale. Uh, hopefully I'll have some coupons in the description below. It overall fits the price point pretty well. It does have all the functions they need. It's got a filter, it's, it's got a keystone correction and focus of course, but it's not automatic. It does use a standard plug, which is nice. And it does have two HDMI's, a VGA component, AV, and a built-in player that does, that does play 1080p video pretty well. It's not terrible, but at the same time, it's not the best. If you have something else like an Android box you can run or a computer, I definitely recommend that over the built-in player. Because if you use the built-in player, you'll be stuck with the built-in speaker playing. Now, yes, you can actually go ahead and get some external audio through these two ports right here, you know, right and left out. You have to get yourself an adapter like this. So you plug these in and you'll have a female 3.5 millimeter auxiliary output, which means you can plug in your own speakers into this thing. But here's the problem. The built-in speaker that's on the right side, it's a single speaker, will actually keep playing and you'll end up with two speakers running at the same time. And I tried in many ways, I couldn't mute the built-in speaker because it'll also mute the speakers that are external. Now you guys already heard the built-in audio here. It's not terrible, it's not spectacular, but it's good enough. It's pretty decent for what this thing is. Uh, would've been nice if there were two speakers on each side, but oh well. If you're someone who doesn't care much about audio, then this might be good enough. If it's just a portable unit, then it might be good enough as well. If this is for kids, if you get kids watching movies here, then they might not care as well. So it's a pretty decent speaker, but again, it would have been nice if they had actually two speakers. So in that regard, you'll probably end up with the same exact thing if you go ahead and get the Android version. You'll be stuck with the built-in speaker, probably playing with the external speakers, which is not a great experience. Now, you can actually get Chromecast and you can plug it in and then you'll have dedicated audio. Now, of course, you can plug in Chromecast, you can plug in your computer, your PlayStation. And speaking of PlayStation and your computer, this projector right here has greatly impressed me in terms of the response time because you can literally actually play games with this thing and not have to worry too much about response time. In fact, this thing has a better response time than the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro and some other TVs out there. And again, if you want me to make a dedicated video to actually test this thing with CSGO or some competitive games that need high response time, then let me know and I'll actually give this thing a try. I'll set it up somehow where I can actually get close to the screen without blocking the screen and being able to play games and uh, see how well I play because I played CSGO and with the craziest setup I've already showed you guys and I was able to play fairly well and uh, it's very impressive. So in that regard, if you're getting this for entertainment, if you're getting this for Steambox, your PlayStation, you are not gonna be disappointed other than the 720p resolution, which is not that bad. It's a very typical resolution for these type of projectors at this price point. So do I recommend this? I would say yes, if you're looking for something that's responsive and does a pretty decent job at projecting then definitely get this projector, but only when it's on sale. And for extra $40, if you want the black version with the Android built in, then I guess it's up to you. You know yourself best if you need that function built in. Anyways guys, that is actually pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you think of this projector. So with that said, thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed this video. And hopefully if you did, hit the like button and subscribe and contact this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care everyone.